Well, I, I'm not sure if I would call it leading. I think that genomics is providing a foundation for breeding. Um, yeah, it is providing one of the resources. So if you refer to the genomic sequences of a crop species, this is a resource that will lay the foundation for major developments. But um, tools derived from genomics, uh, resource information, genomic researchers and breeders together will, via mediators, uh, then use it in, in improving the breeding approaches. Well, I'm not sure if at this stage I would recommend to invest more or less. I think uh, in, in Ecosat is a very good example that the investment into developing these new tools also uh, primarily at the institute in, here at Ecosat for the orphan crops is a very good example that it was worth because with this investment you can really reach fast progress uh, very immediately. But in the, in the mid-long term, I think the main responsibility of these centers is to act like the mediator, to bring the, no, uh, the, the innovative uh, knowledge from genomics into breeding. And we see it as a, by the example of multinational companies. The breeders need uh, a mediator uh, that can communicate the, the results from genomics into breeding. So I think um, this is, to my opinion, maybe a naive opinion, but I think that is a very, very important responsibility. I think it is dependent on the crop and on the trade you're interested in. So since not all tools from genomics can be applied to every crop, um, you, you will have to make a case-to-case -case decision. Um, for must-have traits, it is obvious that the investment into the genomic tools with direct marker selection is the best investment. And so I would say it depends on your crop system and on the trait and in the environment. I think we again have to uh, see it from different views. Yeah? So if you look at uh, how breeding uh, happens in, in industrialized countries with multinational breeding companies. Here we see already the results of genomics in the field, that's obvious. Um, but also um, in, in, in developing countries and, and with the genomic resources accumulating so fastly, uh, I'm pretty sure that we will see results also here within five years, especially in orphan crops, I think, uh, with the genomic tools that are available now, progress can be made very quickly and I would expect that we see first uh, uh, cultivars with uh, genomic information or bred with genomic information within the next five years, at for sure less than 10 years.